Luis here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be talking about everything you need to know about the iPhone 13 or 12s or what type of Apple calls it now. Um, the iPhone 13 or 12s are coming in this September, so next month in their September event. It's going to be virtual because of COVID restriction, all that type of stuff. So on the iPhone 13s, they're going to have bigger camera sensors, uh, which is nice because as, as we all know, as smartphone cameras evolve and get better at taking photos, taking videos and getting closer to that portable professional camera that we all you know can use um you know this is one step closer to that so that's huge um so you know um in this year's iphone 13 to have a bigger camera sensors um you know a bigger ultra wide and a wide angle so that's nice um but in order to do that since they're big cameras um they're off they're obviously going to take up uh, you know space in, inside the phone so in order to do that apple has decided to instead of you know sticking with the normal vertical know layout it'll be diagonal so across each other you know the wide and ultra wide and then the the flashlight and the microphone so you know it's all gonna be across from each other which is it's pretty weird to look at at first to be honest um you know looking at photos and leaks of it so it's it's not a big deal we barely look at the back of our phone so it's no big deal so it is what it is um and then design so Last year's iPhone, you know, they introduced um, the same design basically used in iPhone 4S and the 5. They just reused it and, you know, made it a big deal. But we're sticking with the same design, just slightly, just slightly thicker because, as I said, you know, bigger camera sensor, they take a bigger space. So that will change, you know, the, the form factor and, you know, the weight of the phone as well. So it will be slightly thicker. And also in this year's new iPhones, they're also going to have um, bigger batteries. So that's pretty cool, you know. Now it'll last you a little bit more on the day, which is nice. Um, it's also going to stick with the lighting port, you know, Apple's legendary port. It's not going to switch to USB-C, which is pretty sad. Uh, you know, most Android phones and Apple products now have USB-C. You know, it's faster than Lightning and more reliable, but I guess Apple doesn't doesn't feel the need to. So that is what it is. Um, the screen. So the screen's going to get a pretty big upgrade, I would say on the standard and the pros on the standard um the type of display that apple's going to use is um a display that they put in the apple watch the series 6 and the series 5. um it's an l2po display meaning that um whenever you're not using the phone or whenever you know you're on your lock screen it'll instead of 60 hertz which all the iphones are at 60 hertz it'll go down all the way to one hertz which will preserve battery life and you know, won't keep your phone you know draining battery which is nice so on the pro and pro max uh, iphone 13s they're also going to have 120 hertz that's only exclusive on the iphone pro and the pro max and as, um on the display on the you know where the cameras are you know for the face id unlock it'll have it'll be smaller now so the cameras will be shrink now and it'll be smaller now which is nice so that means you know more screen real estate and now everyone know you have the new iphone which is pretty cool also the the new iphone is going to feature 25 watt fast charging which is pretty cool you know you, you'll be able to charge your phone you know in a hurry or in a pinch when you're in a hurry or you know you have low battery life which is pretty cool um it's only 25 watts fast charging i mean you know, it's nothing it's not you know, 65 watt like one plus or 120 120 watts fast charging like xiaomi um but I guess that's that's how Apple is, you know. It's it is what it is, but you know it's there. Um, now I wouldn't recommend using uh, you know fast charging as much because you know yes, you're getting the benefit of fat charging your phone faster and getting battery your battery um, life faster. But you know the lit the lithium ion battery on all the smartphones, you know that they don't last very long. They last like two or three years, and you'll notice some battery you know decay meaning that they won't hurt they won't hold their battery charge you know as long as they you know once you get them brand new so also with wireless charging um you know you get the benefit as well you can just you know just put it in boom you know no wires no cables none of that you know but as well it'll hurt it hurts the battery because when you're charging it, it, it when you're charging the phone with the wireless charger you're also conducting heat at the same time which can you know reduce the battery health on the battery on the lithium ion battery and you know it won't last you long throughout the year so that's something to keep in mind but you know that's pretty much it um hope you guys enjoyed you know these little bits of the iphone 13s um all the details and hope you guys enjoyed and you know leave a like subscribe and hope to you guys see you soon